Let's take a look how we can take the new Epic Game Animation Sample project and swap out the default orange mannequin here for a DAS character. It's fairly easy if you know how this project works. And in fact, there was, I think, a two hour live stream by the team who developed it, and they take you through this in detail. I'll make a little shorter version here just so that you know how to get started. So this guy is, in fact, the UEFN mannequin. That's what he looks like. It's not Manny, it's not Quinn, it's the UEFN mannequin. And uh, you know what this project is all about, motion matching, and let's see how we can put a DAS character in. So first things first, let's see how this project handles swapping out characters under the hood, because technically you could go and have a look at the blueprints folder, open up the CBP sandbox character, and then use live retargeting directly in this blueprint here, if you like, but that would destroy the functionality that's in here. So live retargeting, just for those of us who don't remember, is that this mesh here will be made invisible, and we're going to go and parent another skeletal mesh underneath it, which is our DAS mesh. That has its own animation blueprint and retargeter, and that then goes and gets retargeted from whatever motion this guy does. And the retargeter under the hood takes care of the, the new mesh moving. But if we do that, then we sort of destroy the functionality that we already see in here. If you click on this blueprint functionality here, and then you hover over the world override under the pawn, you can go and select the different pawn class. For example, Echo. That's a, another character that comes with this project. And the moment we swap that out, it gets overridden. Look at that. She's got cloth dynamics and all that. So this is working all right. And this is exactly what we're going to be doing with our DAS character now. In fact, I think I have already done it. Let me see if it still works. Over here, pawn, uh, select pawn class. I have DAS Yulia. Let's see if that works. Yes, look at that. That still works. And she's got cloth dynamics on as well. This is the new chaos cloth. So that uh, that's why that takes a little bit longer to simulate and I'm not getting 60 frames a second here. Very, very cool. The first thing I'm going to do is in DAS Studio, I'm going to send over my character. I'm going to use one of the new characters here, Liana. She's wearing one of the Voyager jumpsuits here. I'll head over to, with her selected, I'll head over to File, Send to DAS to Unreal. And because it's 5.4 at this point, I'm using David's bridge. And that has a couple of different options here that the DAS bridge currently doesn't have. So the DAS version of the DAS to Unreal bridge, this is David's GitHub version. And I'm not going to take import facing right. If you do that, then that has an impact on the IK retargeter that we're going to use in a moment. So I'm going to go and leave that switched off. But if yours is switched on, or if you don't have this option, then I'll say more about this in a moment. So I'd say OK, and I'll call her Liana9, and let that work for a second. Okay, many scary messages later. We'll see if we have our character in here. Control Shift S to save everything quickly. And what we'll need to make her work is an IK retargeter asset and an animation blueprint. Actually, only an IK retargeter. The animation blueprint comes with the project. So let's make that retargeter first. And you do that by heading over to right clicking here. And then you say create IK retargeter. And this is where it gets a little bit hairy now. You need to provide the skeleton from which you want to retarget. So in our case, I can tell you it's this one here, the SKM UEFN mannequin. But if you didn't know that, then the way to find out is if we go back to our player character here, which is the CBP sandbox character, if you open him up, because that's the guy that we're going to retarget from his mesh, if you go and double click on this mannequin here, then this opens up. And if you hover over this little skeleton icon here, then you can see that this is in fact driven from the SK UEFN mannequin. So let's make a mental note of that. In case you ever need to live retarget something and you don't know what skeleton do I need to pick to make my retargeter, this is the one. This is how you can find out. Source skeleton and then open that up and hover over the skeleton. That'll show you. So that means that back in our Liana folder here, right click create IK retargeter and then pick SKM UEFN mannequin. There we go. That gives us a rig and also this uh, cryptically named thing. So I'm going to call that one IKR Liana so that I know what that is. Double click into it. And then we can see that these two are actually lining up uh, pretty well. That's that's perfect. If you had sent over your character with this option here, 
facing right or in case you don't have this option then your character will be imported the the facing the the, the right way the wrong way so to say in that case you need to go and pick yourself the copy of the ik retargeter that comes with the dash to unreal plugin that you can find under plugins here that's to unreal content and then there's retarget and then you can copy this one here so that the character matches up so you can just go and make a copy of that rename it to suit your needs and then you populate the source assets here properly and then that'll that'll work out so we're, we're in good shape here this is going to work out fine i'm going to go and close this down and go make myself that character blueprint so that we can go and select liana now in a moment so i'm going to go and do that back where all the other things are perhaps in retargeted characters here i think that's a good place for that so i'm going to go and right click on the cbp sandbox character and go and create myself a child blueprint class from that so that means that is going to look very similar to what we've got here so liana double click to open that up in fact, it looks exactly like what we've just seen, but with the difference that we're not going to override things here. So first thing, under the mesh here, I'm going to go and add myself another skeletal mesh component, and that is going to be the DAS mesh. And this is the thing that's being driven from the orange guy live. So on the DAS mesh, I'm going to go here and take my face out of the way so that you can see what I'm doing. Under mesh, skeletal mesh, I'm going to pick Liana here. There we go skeletal mesh and now she goes and looks like this she also needs an animation blueprint but we don't need to make one because they've already done that the clever guys from epic and i'll show you where that is and how it works because it is fairly really cool i have to say so in here we have the main animation blueprint for the sandbox character and that's not what we need to concern ourselves with because that is only for the orange guy here in retargeted characters here there's another one which is called the abp generic retarget and that is clever in that it has some logic down here namely a map variable if you click on that here ik retargeter map then you can see a whole host of things in this list here i'm going to go and take my face away again and this is a tag that each of these meshes have so rtg uefn to echo is the tag that the echo playable character has on their mesh and this variable translates that into the correct retargeter for the correct figure that's supposed to be played with so what we need is then add ourselves an element here that makes an empty line down here and we can go and just pick a tag that we can remember so i might as well just call this one liana here and then here i'm going to go and select the retargeter that we've just made for her which i've already forgotten what that is it's the ikr liana in our case i should really have renamed it like this but this is going to be fine so this tag here is going to cause this retargeter to be used if in fact our character is being is in use so in order for that tag to be populated here let's go and copy that out go back to my liana playable character and then on my das mesh here let's go and search for tag and then we can see this tag field here which is empty so let's go and add one element in there and paste that thing in so liana that's the tag that this animation blueprint is looking for furthermore we need to tell this mesh that it is supposed to be driven by this generic retarget blueprint here so let's go and make that happen this here needs to be the abp generic retarget this one and if we do that and compile then yeah well, sometimes the character moves sometimes it doesn't let's go try it out by switching our blueprint here under world override from pawn to our cbp liana and let's see if it works press play and and there we go it works fine so okay one slight problem here <laughs> we still see our orange guy but that's easy to do she is moving fine live retargeted so that is very successful if i don't say so myself let's go into our liana blueprint switch back to the orange guy's mesh type in vis for visible and make him invisible this is just one thing to note here this is already set on this blueprint but in case it isn't in yours or if you do this manually or somehow differently this visibility based and tick options needs to be set to always tick pose and refresh bones if this is set to always take pose then you'll see your character in an a pose and it's sort of moving but it's not actually animating so make sure it's set to refresh bones here now if we go back press play we go we see her walking in a funky spacesuit isn't that exciting <laughs> this is great
Yeah, there you go, short and sweet, that's how you do it. I hope this was helpful. If you find anything that isn't working or works slightly differently on your version, then please let me know. If you want to retarget this uh, directly on the CBP sandbox character, you can do that. All you need to do there differently is that you need to make your own animation blueprint here with this one pose, retarget pose from Mesh. I've got another video on my channel that I'll link to in the description in case you're interested in that. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good time with this and I'll see you next time. Take care, bye-bye.